Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the Navian fire tube boiler and I'm filming this by myself so got the weird angle here with the arm holding the phone but um, didn't really have an opportunity to set up anything so I just wanted to get a quick video of this so I'll show you guys a picture of the old cast iron boiler that was sitting here. It, some company came up and bypassed the limits the rollouts the safety switch on the damper for the if it's going to backflow any exhaust all of it was bypassed it was in a dangerous position so we repiped this entire system and relabeled put new ball valves in brought everything down with new honeywell zone valves this is a radiant floor system you can see some of the radiant down here on the bottom here on the concrete we've got the 0015 Taco and this one is an ECM so we upgraded to all the ECM pumps here we're using the Navian manifold system which we really like and another ECM motor here for our indirect fired water heater this thing will never ever run out of hot water so this fire tube boiler is 200,000 BTU input. We are on an LP application. We are able to use the old B vent from the inefficient 83% or so boiler with a working damper and use that as a chase for our PVC. Now we did run that first section of CPVC here so that we could turn the boiler up to 180 degrees. So. Um, really sweet system a couple of zone controls to clean up all the wires and i'll show you before and afters but we also took out an old oh these were water panels on the roof from like back in the 80s when that was a thing it really never worked so we removed that from the system for the customer but really cleaned up this entire area i'll back up and show you guys and went to a 95% efficient fire tube boiler. We got our nice Khalifi, I guess they're calling it, or Califi, we call it Khalifi with the backflow preventer. We've got our nice big EX60 expansion tank. We've added glycol to the system and we have the nice spiral vent for our air separator. We installed the Navi clean because this had an old cast iron boiler, it has a magnet in here, so it'll remove all the iron deposits. We've got our pH neutralizer with a built-in bypass with a little safety lift switch. If this ever plugs up, that will come red, but this goes in to protect the septic system of the home. We installed the recirc pump and we labeled that so the customer can just come turn on the recirc pump and they will have hot water at the farthest location of the home. Of course, we installed a mixing valve to monitor that because we don't want to overheat any of the domestic water and burn somebody. And that way we can actually turn the Aquastat up more on our smart triangle tube water heater and allow it to provide even more hot water. They will never run out of hot water in this house, I guarantee it. It's set up as a priority, so if the domestic ever needs to reheat the tank, they're going to get this will get a hundred percent of the capacity of this unit and i think 10 minutes this tank 15 minutes max this tank would be completely replenished so we did install the drain coming off the side here dielectric fittings of course and we did put in an, a domestic expansion tank because they don't have any buffer with the house pump so we did put in that expansion tank for them. Sealed up the old combustion air pipes. I'm sure if you can see that one up there and that one up there. So all that cold air that was coming to this room has been eliminated. And here we go. Much cleaner, much nicer system. And really love it. We also went with the Navi Link Light, and it, we do have a little bit of a Wi-Fi issue. We're waiting for the customer to come home and deal with that because we need a 2.4 gigahertz network and that's not available, but we got it communicating with the fire tube boiler. So just wanted to give you guys a quick show of the work that we can do and how we can take an old cast iron boiler and move into the next, into the future. 
move it right into the future. So sorry for the quality on this one. Didn't have a lot of time to set up anything, had to get in and out of here, but definitely wanted to film what we could do here. So thanks for coming along. See you guys in the next one.